In this video, I will show you how to quickly and easily open and close long and short positions with stop loss, take profit and so on. Everything you need to know, you will learn how to leverage trade on 2bit in this video. If you want to create an account on 2bit, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and you will get to exactly this page right here and you will automatically be able to get the best sign up bonus possible. You can actually get up to $9,210 of bonuses. The first $10 you can easily get by just signing up and then transferring at least $10 to your futures trading account. I will show you all of that in just a bit. Also, if you're using the copy trading functionality, up to $200 of losses will completely be covered. And the last up to $9,000 you can get by depositing and trading these amounts. And then you can see how much of a bonus you will get. If you've used the link from the description, you can get all of these bonuses. You just have to enter your details right here or use one of these buttons and then you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this. First thing I wanna show you is of course, how you can deposit money. First First, I will show you how to deposit crypto. You simply go up here and click on deposit. Then you can choose the cryptocurrency you want to deposit, Bitcoin or any other ones that you would like. I, for example, like to use US dollar Tether. You can just click on it here, choose a network. I, for example, like to use the Tron network and then you will get your deposit address right here. You can send crypto here from another exchange or your wallet and then it will be here within seconds without any fees. Also, I wanna show you how you can also deposit with fiat currency. So if you have Euro or US dollars, you simply go here up to the left top, click on buy crypto, then credit and debit card. Then you can choose your fiat currency that you want to deposit with. All of these ones are, are available. For example, 500 Euro. Then you have to choose the cryptocurrency that you wanna receive because you cannot hold fiat on the platform, but you can basically buy it. And then you will have some crypto on here. For example, US dollar tether. I have to type in 500 again and then I'll receive this amount of US dollar tether. I can choose one of these different payment providers, click on buy with Eero. I have to be verified on the account. And um, this is the only step where you have to be verified. Anything else, depositing with crypto or just leverage trading with crypto, you don't need to be verified on here. But if you wanna use uh, the fiat on-ramp system right here through a third party uh, by using Visa card, Apple Pay and so on, then you have to be verified. It takes up to 10 to 20 minutes and then the money will be here and then you can trade with it. You can of course always check if the money has already arrived by just going up here to your assets, just click on it once and then you will get to this page and then you can see it should arrive here in the spot account if the money that you have deposited already has arrived. And um, if you wanna transfer it to your futures account, I also wanna show you that because if you wanna trade with it, you need it in your futures account. Simply go here, click on transfer, choose from your spot account to your futures account, select the currency US dollar tether we need, and then just click on confirm and then you will have it here on your futures account and then you can leverage straight with it. All right, so next up, let's check out the trading platform and you can get there by just going up here to derivatives and then click on USDT perpetual futures. Then you will get to this trading platform right here. I will go through everything in detail right now. So first of all, up here on the left, you can choose your trading pair, for example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, any other of these ones you can simply choose and then trade it. I will stick with Bitcoin for now. Then down here, you will see the price chart. You can either use this view, which is from 2bit, or you can also switch here to trading view. If you're familiar with that, you will, can also use that as your chart view right here. On the right side, you will see the order book. You could also switch to your recent trades. Um, down here, you can see your open position. We will get into that in just a bit when we open a position and also your open orders and your history. On the right side here, you can see all of your assets that you currently have on your futures account that you can trade with. You could deposit some more or transfer it from your spot account, as you maybe remember. And up here, this is where we can control all of our trades, where we can open positions, set leverage and so on. All right, so let's actually open a position right now. Let's start off with a simple long position. And first of all, I wanna show you uh, how a limit order works. Of course, you can choose a limit or market order. In this case, I wanna show you how a limit order works. So first of all, you have to choose the um, margin type. I would stick with isolated right here. Then you can choose the leverage. You can use an up to 100x leverage. In this case, I'm gonna stick with a 5x leverage for now, click on confirm, then you have that all set up here. Now I wanna show you how a limit order works. You can set a certain price in here. So if I don't wanna enter the market right now, uh, I only wanna start, uh, enter the market with my position, for example, at $29,300 at this price right here. I can simply type that in here, 29,300. Then I have to choose a position size, let's say for example, $100, that would mean I'm using 19, uh, $17 of my own capital, which is around about $20. Uh, it's not exactly because it's in the background, it's using Bitcoin. You could switch the view up right here. 
but uh, behind the scenes it's basically taking my $20 times 5 equals that $100 position size roundabout not exactly because as you know it's using bitcoin in the background but it it, it matches up quite well um, you could also use the style controller i'm going to show you some other methods too later on but you know this is how you can choose a position size then just click on buy long you can see again it's a limit order at this price it will be executed and this is the position size click open long and then you have it all set up nothing really happens you cannot see anything it's because it's not opened yet it's just an open order so if i go to open orders i can now see the order right here at this price and i can wait until it will be filled once this price is reached down here um, or of course i could at any point just cancel it i want to do that now because now i want to show you what i will also recommend you is just use a market order because then you can enter the market immediately at the current market price all right so let's actually open a long position with a market order this time so now i cannot set a price because we're entering the market right immediately right now at the current market price i can choose a position size again as you know i can just type in any amount here or i could use the slide controller and as you can see this is how much of my own capital i'm using this is how much i have so if i put this to 100 percent, this equals my entire capital that i have on my account and that would mean an entire position size of 120 dollars times five so around about 600 dollars of entire position size i can also see that later on i will show you once you will open the position all right so next up i can also set a take profit and stop loss i can do that either here or later on i'm going to show you how it works here if i just click on here i can type in a take profit and stop loss price if i click on advanced i can even get some more options and see how much profit or loss i would make which is really useful in this case i want to make a buy long so i can just click here type in the price for example at thirty two thousand dollars which would mean an 8% price increase. I can say I want to close the entire position at that price directly, and that would mean $45 of profit. Down here, I can do the same for the stop loss. For example, if the price goes down to $29,000, so it, it goes 1.5% down, I want to close the position as well for my stop loss. That would mean around about $9 of a loss. So I can set these numbers up right here, click on confirm, and then I have it all set up. Now I can open the position, I just have to click on buy long. I can see everything again, it's a market order, so it will be executed right now. This is the entire position size, my own capital right here, the $223 times five equals an entire position size of $640 roundabout. I can see my take profit and stop loss again. I can click on open long and then the position will be opened. All right, so now I can see the position down here. We will go through everything that you will need to know about this view down here. So I can see it's a Bitcoin trade. It's a 5x leverage. This is the entire position size. This is my profit or loss that I currently have. Um, the price has increased a little bit, so I'm around about like one cent and a profit. This is the entry price where I entered the position and the current price. Here is my liquidation price. So if I would not have set a, take, uh, a stop loss and the price would go, on, go down to $23,600, the position will be closed automatically and I would lose my entire margin, which is my own capital that I currently have in this trade. So this is how this works. Um, currently it wouldn't happen because I have my take profit and stop loss set. But if you do not have one, then this would be the last price where you could have your course position opened. Otherwise it would be closed automatically. Here I can see my margin. So this means this is my own capital in this trade. Uh, as you know, I've chosen 100%. So I've just taken all of it. Um, I can also increase or decrease some margin if I were to do, like to do so. You could do that later on here. This would influence your liquidation price. Um, and lastly, of course, I want to show you take profit and stop loss. You might wonder why you cannot see it in here and if it has even been set. But yes, it has. You just cannot see it here, unfortunately. You have to go here to your open orders take profit and stop loss and then here you will see both of your orders so your stop loss right here and your take profit um, you can also view them here and see a nice detailed view of it again or you can just go here and cancel them because i also want to show you how you can edit them at any point of course if i just go here and click on this little arrow here i can set a new take profit or stop loss for example at thirty-one thousand dollars and at twenty-nine thousand one hundred dollars $32 of profit, $7 of a loss, click on confirm, and then you have it set up again. And now I also can see it here. So if you add it um, at the beginning right here, you will not see it here, but it will still be there under open orders. Or you can also do it later on or edit at any point right here, which is pretty useful too. And of course, if you edit um, 
edit them here or add them here you will also see them here in your open orders of course at any time as well uh, the ones that i've set right now you can see them right here all right though so that's pretty much it for take profit and stop loss for your long position i can now just leave it open wait what the price does or of course close the long position at any point if i want to do so just go here click on market choose how much of the position want to be closed 100 percent click on close and then you're out of the position again. All right, so next up, I also wanna show you how the same works for a short position. It's pretty simple. You just go back here to market, choose the position size. Let's go for 100% again. Let's leave the take profit and stop loss out for now because I wanna show you how you can just add them later on. As you know, you can do that too. Then just click on sell short. You will see the position size again, click on open and then you will have it here again. So you can see now this is red, that indicates that it's a short position with a 5x leverage, position size, profit and loss, of course we know all that, entry price. Um, one difference right now is of course the liquidation price because now it's a higher liquidation price that, because now if the price goes up, we're making a loss and if the price goes down, we're making profit. So if the price goes up to $35,000 in this case, the position would be closed, liquidated and we would lose our margin right here if we don't have a stop loss set. But we, of course, we can do that right now. Just go here on take profit and stop loss and set a take profit. Of course, this time the take profit has to be below the current price because we're making profit if the price goes down. So let's say the price goes to $27,000. I want to have my take profit, $50 of profit if the price goes down this far and my stop loss, let's say at $30,000. That would mean a $12 loss in this case. I can just click on confirm and I have them set right here. Of course, I can edit them at any point if I want to do so, switch these numbers up. I can also see them here, as you know, and it pretty much works all the same, just the other way around. As for long position, same works here for your short position, of course. So you see the price has gone down a little, little bit since we entered the position, as you can see here. And this is why we are a little bit in profit right now. Um, of course, at any point, you can close the position if you want to do so. Simply go here, click on market, choose how much percent all of it and then just click on close short and you can also close a short position at any point if you want to do so. Don't forget to create an account on 2bit by using the link down from the video description to get the up to $9,210 of bonuses, the best sign up bonus possible and if you have any other questions always feel free to ask them in the comments.